Hello, hello friends. My name is Kim and you're watching All Things Kimberly, West Virginia. Today is our Health of More in 2024 series where I join with several other ladies and we try to keep each other accountable as well as keeping you guys accountable and on track. If you're not subscribed and this interests you, please consider subscribing, giving me a like, 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 leaving me a comment. I'd love to chat. Also, if you're in a hurry, try to watch at least three minutes or your subscription may drop off. Okay, let's get started. How have I done this week? Not so good. I was kind of working on my, you know, I'm frugal. I had ordered a meal service um, several weeks ago. And it was kind of before I started this journey full heartedly. So I wasn't really paying attention to the content in them. You guys, they were some high points value foods. Um, so being the frugal person I am, I ate them anyway this week and I am up 1.3 pounds. Yes, I am. <laughs> I am sorry, but I think it will drop off. There was a lot of sodium content in them, so I think it might be some water retention as well as maybe a little weight gain. I haven't even written it down, you guys. But, uh, it's kind of, I hated to get on here and tell you that, but I'm gonna mark it in red. Plus 1.3, and I'll have to figure up what that does. I forgot to figure out what it does to my BMI. Shoot, hold on, let me, let me pause you and you won't even know it and I'll be back. Okay, so I got that done. It, it did increase it 0.2 to 47.8. So it's not horrible, but it's still discouraging when you have a weight gain. Now, that being said, I have not, I've been, guys, I have been off the wagon. I have not tracked my weight daily like I usually do. I probably may have been down a, a pound or two some days and it would have averaged it out, but I didn't do it. So I had to weigh in this morning and that's what I got. So this week coming up, getting back to tracking my weight every day and averaging it like I like doing and it gives you something more accurate in my opinion. Now that's just my opinion. You you do you and I'll do me and we'll all do it together, right? Okay, um, I did just take my measurements. I had found this. This is the tape measure I use. And I believe I got this off of Amazon a while back. And the good thing about this is it's easier. Like, say you wanna do your arm, you pull it out and you put it in the little slot and then you pinch it and it pulls together for you. And then when you unpinch it, it keeps the, the measurement for you. So it's easier to do a measurement by yourself with this type of measuring tape. And embarrassing, but chest 51.4. Now I want to make a note here that this is all my right side on, on the ones that are sides, like right arm, left, or right arm, right leg, right calf. So it's all the right side, but chest is 51.4. And you all know, I don't, yeah, I'm using a measuring tape, but if I had on a sports bra versus the, one from Lane Bryan I've got on, it may come up a little bit different. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt, but it's 51.4. Hips, I'm wearing my pajama bottoms, There, it's 59.5. Waist is 48.75. Now that was without clothes, cause I pulled my shirt up. Uh, upper arm, that I'm measuring upper arm is 17.5. My thigh with pajamas is on, on is 33.25. And my calf was 20 with nothing on it. So there are my measurements. Now, that's not gonna go down a lot by the beginning of May, but that's okay. We've got a starting point. Now, let's see. I wanted to go over a few things that I have at my disposal that I think will help me this coming week. 
Let me see if I've got a page where I can write things. We're gonna do this page in a minute. See, I'm gonna make some pages for this. I just didn't get to it this week. Um, okay, I want to show you one more thing I love. Now, I got off of using this. I used this pretty well, like the first year after I had my gastric sleep. And it helped so much. And then I got off of using it and I'm starting back on it. And I think, in my opinion, this, again, I'm not a medical doctor or anything, but in my opinion, this is an amazing product. And it is Vital Proteins, Collagen, and Peptides. Now, you can order this, or you can purchase it at, like, Sam's Club. I have a Sam's Club. I don't have a Costco. I think maybe Walmart sells it. But it's 20 grams of collagen peptides per serving. It's paleo and keto friendly. It's a grass-fed, pasture-raised beef dietary supplement. Here is your supplement facts. Uh, it does have calories in it, so I usually try to put it in coffee or some kind of liquid after uh, 10 a.m. Uh, serving size is four tablespoons a day. Uh, see, it does have 18 grams of protein in it. That's uh, one of the reasons I liked it after my sleeve surgery because you couldn't eat a lot. Um, the collagen, though, is what I like the most about it. And I have read that this does better if it's taken with, like I just said, I put it in coffee, but if you eat something with nutrients in it, somehow it does better. I mean, like I said, I am, I buy the unflavored. They might have a flavored, but you can put this in your yogurt. You can put it in liquids. You can add it to soups, whatever, as long as you get it in. And you can't tell it's in there. It mixes up very well. But this helped me with my hair loss, my my skin stays good, uh, all the th I think it helps, in my opinion, with, you know, where you're losing a lot of weight. I have sagging skin. That's one of the things I was going to talk to you about this. I would like to get an, oh my gosh, what was, who was it? Oh, I can see her channel. Or Windmill Ridge Budgets. She has lost a lot of weight, and she called it a front-end alignment. <laughs> I had never heard it called that before, but I'm assuming maybe that's belly, boobs. I don't know. Uh, so, I am wanting to save to get my belly done if I lose another 100 pounds, but I think for the 100 pounds I've lost, or almost 100 pounds, my skin has done pretty well. So, I think it's a lot of it is due to this, uh, at least that and lots of water. Water, drinking a lot of water is great for your skin too. Okay, that was another little thing in my arsenal I wanted to show you. And then I bought another one of these. I used to have one of these and it, I don't know, it walked out of the house. I don't know who walked out with it, but this is a big 64 ounce water jug from Amazon and you start, and I've already drunk a lot of Gatorade Zeros today, so you'll notice I've got a lot of water left. But you can start and it will track and keep you on track for drinking between 7 a.m. and 9 p.m. And you'll get in 64 ounces. How cool is that? And it just pops up with a, a straw here. But you can find these on Amazon as well. So I like having this. And if you don't like drinking out of this big jug, you can use it just to fill up, keep it in the fridge, pour it into something smaller, and make sure you still get it in that way. All right, let me see. All right, I want to do some strategies for this week. I am not sure how you spell that. I don't think that's right. But anyway, y'all know what I mean. For, oh, you know, I'm not just, I'm not going to write for this week because this will probably cover all month um, on this page. But I want to make sure I get my water in with my new water bottle. And I've already took my measurements. I want to just start getting my collagen in every day. And... I think that is super important. Uh, I already am good about taking my vitamins, but I'm going to write vitamins down here. 
and I should have pulled those out and showed you what I take. Okay, well, I don't have them with me, but I can tell you, I take um, a Flintstones uh, multivitam for children. Now, that was kind of recommended by my doctor as one of the cheaper versions of vitamins to get your vitamins in after gastric sleep. I take a chewable one in the morning and one at night. You may, if you haven't had gastric sleep, you may want to just take one. Uh, I'm not sure what the recommended dose would be, but that's what I take. I take a Caltrate chewable, one in the morning and one at night. And I also take, oh shoot, there's another pill I take, another vitamin. Okay, I found my pill bottle. <laughs> it is Slow Mag. So I take a magnesium Slow Mag of the morning and of the evening. That is my three vitamins I take, and I do do them very well along with my medication. So I am going to write it down here. Um, okay, something I want to work on, and I'm going to go ahead and write it because I keep putting it to the back burner, is I want to make us some walking, and mine is walking, trackers. I can't jog or run or none of that. I couldn't do it when I was skinny, y'all. I just am not, if you see me running, you better run too because something's after me. So I, was, I, I don't run. <laughs> I'm not a runner by any means. I want a walking tracker. I want a pounds down tracker. And let's see, there was something else. Got the other one done. I got a new subscriber chart done. And I got the new creator's calendars done. So those are done. Um, another thing I want to talk to you about is, uh, I, said, I said a little bit about that front end alignment. So with these walking trackers, along with the this, this month, it is the Texas Hold'em that Miss April made. I'm gonna use these trackers to save for, and I may carry this on over into next month since we're getting started late in the month, front end alignment. And what I might do is I'll probably always have the walking one and a pounds tracker, but we'll probably change line dances next month. So we might make another, she might or I might, somebody might make another, uh, savings challenge versus, well, tracker, because you don't have to do a savings challenge. That's my option. Just a tracker for whatever line dance we choose to do. And I have worked on my Texas Hold'em. It's not pretty, y'all. It is not pretty, but it, it's exercise, right? Okay, so I've got everything. I'm, I've, got, I've got notes over here I'm looking at. <laughs> medical cost was another thing I want to talk about. That's a huge thing in your health is your medical costs. And I'm getting at the age where that is something that is gonna be uh, very important to me. I know one of the other ladies mentioned medical costs and I already had it in my notes to mention. I do have a heart issue, which is under control. I went through a lot and it's back on my channel way back, but I had AFib and it, I mean, it slammed me to the ground, you guys. But I got it straightened up but I went through a huge amount of medical costs and I probably, I don't know what it was brought on by. It could have been weight. It could have been the pneumonia. They didn't know what was when COVID first started and I got put in the hospital. They quarantined me. They tr didn't treat me. They just watched me and then blood work every hour or so it seemed. I had poked and prodded and I honestly think it was COVID when it first started and they just hadn't put a name to it yet or didn't want to tell me. But if you get under a good BMI, now I know skinny people have health problems, but it will, I believe, help you in the long run. So there's where your budgeting comes in with your health. That's why I wanted to mention it. Um, what else? The other thing is our tracker for our ladies. Now, let's get our stars out. And we're out of red. Let's do silver. Miss Jenny was simply... Now, all these ladies, I'm going to say their first names. They will all be in my description. Jenny done hers. 
Jessie did hers. We all did them, you guys. I might as well just tell you. We won't be no big to do about it. We all done them. Now, Miss Erin Lynn, if you've watched hers, she will tell you she's got something coming up that may prevent her from doing a couple videos. But my suggestion to Erin was if she couldn't do a video, just update us on a community post. And that might work for her. I'm not sure. She's going out of the country. So I'm not sure, you know, if the internet will even let her do that where she's going or her cell signal or whatever she uses. But that might be an option for her. And here is my video today you're watching. Now, we have these first seven ladies. And we are calling ourselves the OG. I am anyway. I don't know how they'll like that. But we're the original gangsters. And we are group one. We have started group two. Oh, uh, we've got two people in group two. Yes, we do. Our first one is Miss Deidre. And then she's going to do Thursday videos. And Miss Chelsea is going to do Friday videos. Look for them in the description. Um, did I write down their channels? Uh, Deidre's is Deidre's kitchen, I believe, and Chelsea. I know Chelsea's because it's cute. It's Cats Ate My Budget. So, <laughs> look them up. Uh, they're going to start, I believe, this week, which will mark them out for these weeks. Let's see. What is today? Is the... Yeah. So, I believe they're going to start here on the 18th and 19th. So, you guys watch for them. Now, another really, really important thing. A brand new chart. And what is this chart for? This is for our subscribers that do not have channels, you guys. I have told you before, if you need support, we are here for you. We have our first subscriber that is needing support. And I'm not telling people's full names, but her name is Brandy C. And what you need to do, we I have the Facebook group. You can join it. It's going to be in the description. But we also have an Instagram chat we just started for a support group to help you guys. We are all in it. All of the creators are in it. And we, I'm going to keep you accountable. That's what this is for. You see these dates? Now, Brandy is just joining me. Or us. Brandy is just joining us. So, I'm going to mark her down here. And I'm going to talk to her and see what day her weigh-in is. And I'm going to check on her. And I'm going to see what she's doing. Now, like I said, we are not in a race. Here's how I'm going to do it. I'll show you on one of these. Uh, let me get an erasable one. If Brandy does what she's supposed to do for the week, and by that, I don't mean lose weight. I mean, Brandy is going to tell me her plan. And us, she's going to tell us her plan, I hope. And... Whether she's doing Weight Watchers, lower calories, intermittent fasting, we don't care. Whatever plan you want to do, we're going to support you. I was in a group one time. I think it was called Tops. I love that group. They left my area because people quit going. But they supported any... They had a diet, but they would support you any diet you wanted to do. It didn't matter. But what I'm going to do is if she's doing her stuff, whether she gains or loses, I'm going to give her like a green mark. If she's not doing her stuff like she's not checking in and doing her stuff. She's going to get a red mark for the week. So, Miss Brandy, you don't want no red mark. No, you don't. Um, so, that's how I'm going to do it for you guys that are subscribers. I, I told you I wanted you to be included, and this is how we're going to include you. Now, I, right now, am going to do, my thought is, the first six of you. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're all going to support you in the chat. But I'm going to do your check-ins. Now, if we start getting more than that, I may have to give my next lady, which I think the second one to join was maybe Jessie. We may do it that way. Brandy, reach out to me. If you want to reach out to one of the others, maybe I can send them this chart. And this chart may change as we get more people. We'll work it out. We'll work out the details. I just want to support you. and keep, This is part of keeping you accountable is what I'm trying to say. So, to keep you accountable, I think if you see your name each week and you get a red mark or a green mark, kind of like we get our stars over here for our videos, I think it will help you. 
I might be wrong, but I'm thinking that would help me. So, if you want help, reach out to me on either Etsy message or not. Yeah, Etsy. Or I know I've had a couple people lately tell me that they messaged me on Etsy and I didn't get it. So the best way to reach out to me is probably Instagram. If you reach out to me on Etsy, put it as like, uh, like go to one of my sale items and click it and message me about it. And I think that will come through rather than just trying to message me. I don't know what's going on with their messaging system, but try that, okay? And reach out to me. If you put it in the comments, I might miss it because I stay so busy. So that's why I always tell you to direct message me. And I'm not great at checking emails, you all. I'm horrible at checking emails, so don't reach out to me there. <laughs> Do not reach out to me there. Okay, so uh, here's our upcoming week. Now, I'm going to try to do a quick video, so, oh, I told you I was going to use the other page, didn't I? What I'm going to do this week is go back to what I know works. Back to those meals, that meal service. That was, they were really good meals. They were really good meals, but they weren't Weight Watchers friendly, and it was, I, I don't know if I should tell you, it was, it was Factor, and they were delicious. So, if you're not on a weight loss journey, but I think, well, I shouldn't say it that way. I think they have healthy options, but I hadn't chosen them. And my husband won't eat that type of thing. So they're all gone now. We can start fresh tomorrow. And I think I'm going to do, I've got some peppers and onions and stuff in there. So I think I'm going to start out with some omelets for breakfast. I like omelets and they're good for you. I'm going to run to the store in the morning, and I'm going to get, and I may not even have, I don't think I even have to run to the store. I think I have everything I need for salads for lunch, and I'm talking about this week. We'll probably just keep adding to this for the whole month. Now, for dinner, I eat whatever I fix for my husband, usually, and Lonnie. I just try to, like, if there's something really bad fattening or whatever, I try to alter it a little. Like, I don't eat a lot of potatoes no more. I love, 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 love potatoes, but I know that's one of my downfalls. Potato chips is my downfall, and you know that commercial that one of them has that you can't eat just one? Well, no, I can't eat just one. So, if I don't start the one, I know I said to Helen, she believes everything in moderation, but for some of us that have, uh, food, what is it called? Binge eating. I'm a binge eater. And uh, food issues like me, I can't eat the one. If I eat the one, I want more. So, I do okay if I don't have the one and I can let it go. I can eat something else crunchy, you know, like celery, carrots, something crunchy. I like something crunchy. But, so I just mo uh, modify our regular menu. That's what I'll put. So, like, rather than uh, potatoes, I'll have green beans. Rather than potatoes, I'll have a salad. Uh, if he has something gooey, cheesy, like, uh, I don't know, macaroni and cheese, pasta, it's like a side dish, I'll again have a salad or green beans or something like that. Um, side dishes, I'm not going to list that. I'm going to list snacks. Because as I told you, my husband's a snacker and it's hard for me not to snack. So I want to do a veggie tray because I love veggies. Now I did try, I think it was Jesse that loves the dill dip. I liked it okay, but I'm not a hundred percent with it. And somebody who was it sent me a recipe for a different dip. If you've got a really good, low-calorie, Weight Watchers friendly dip that you use for your veggies, let me know. I know, what was it? Was it the plain yogurt, like the Greek yogurt, and you put a ranch packet in it, somebody told me to do? Or maybe somebody told me to, oh, I think I know what it was. I think it was cottage cheese whipped up. And if you like cottage cheese, and put a ranch packet in it for a veggie dip. One of those two things. So that is my kind of plan for this week, along with my vitamins, my water, 
and with some vitamins water and still working on the exercise with the line dancing. So that, let me look. Uh, I think I've got everything for, I think I've got everything. I don't think I need to put anything on the shopping list. Now I have decided, and if this is, if I get time, to maybe start doing some more community posts or shorts of my meals. Try to keep myself accountable. Maybe tell you how many points it is. Things like that, if I get the time. So that's something I wanna try to do. Now, let's see. I just wanna really briefly touch on our reset. Since that is part of today. Let me find my page. Okay, we are in zone three. And zone three is our baths and laundry. Okay. Okay, now I know Tuesday, look at our tax day. I did call the tax people. I got my extension. I have my bus run. That's my extra run, Tuesday, Wednesday. But now on Friday, on Thursday and Friday, I have it on Friday, but I'm taking off work. Remember, this is our anniversary weekend. Well, I'm just gonna write anniversary here because the 20th is our anniversary. And we're going to that concert. Now, I did talk to the guy we're splitting food with. He's taking his motorhome and he's invited us to stay in the motorhome. So we might not be having to car camp. He's got a nice, 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 big, fancy motorhome. One of our great friends. And we're gonna do a lot of, I might do a seafood boil. We're gonna be there from Thursday to Sunday, I believe. So he loves doing crab legs. I'll probably do a seafood bowl. We might, you know, grill some steaks one night because the food at this place, we can eat steaks that I buy from the grocery store cheaper than we can eat a burger and fries at this place because their menu items is gonna be high dollar. So I won't be on, I won't work. Thursday, and I think Thursday is uh, like an early release day. Now, uh, this is not gonna change. It's gonna be the same as right here. And no, I didn't mark my goodies very good, but I'm not gonna watch. make you watch this. Uh, you remember I did change out my videos. I'm doing today's video right now, and Wednesday will be all savings challenges. Uh, because Tuesday I get Etsy pay, Tuesday's pay is what uh, I stuff my challenges with, so I just thought it made it easier. Plus, I forgot I worked on Friday nights at the Grub Shack, and I don't know what I was thinking. So, I'm moving every all the savings challenges right now till Wednesday because I think concentrating on health right now is the most important thing for me. Now, I'm not saying I won't do other videos besides uh, Sunday and Wednesdays because I will. I will do some shop drop videos. I've got, oh, should I show you? Should I show you? Could you, should you all get a sneak peek of what's coming up probably in the morning? Because I've got it printed. I don't have it laminated or nothing yet. But you guys, the new book is done. Look at there. This is the new savings challenge book. And I don't want to, mm, I can't show you that one. There's a new game in here. I can't show you that one because I, I don't want you to see the numbers and stuff. No, I don't know. I can show you this one. This one's a roll and save. And what you do, you're going to get a D12 dice with it. And the first roll, you align to the top. Like if you roll a 10 and then you roll it again and say you get a 7, you'll save $4. And you color this in until you get the whole page colored in. So I'll show you that one. But that is your sneak peek. And they will come with, um, they'll be coming with the bookmarks. And it will be coming with the, let me get a hold of it, dashboards. So, it is, I think, it's a little bit smaller than my other one. But I think there is, 
Don't hold me to it. I think there's 12 different full-size savings challenges in here, plus a goodie you haven't seen in my savings challenge book. So, watch for that shop drop. Okay, baths and laundry. We need to definitely give them some love. I want to clean out that medicine cabinet. Didn't get to it last time, I think. I was supposed to. My wash basin. I don't know what you all call it. I call it a wash basin. I have a double, double basin for me and my husband. It needs cleaned badly. Decluttered, cleaned. It is a mess. A mess, you guys. And that's the top of it. I'm not talking about down in it. I'm talking about the top of it. And inside. We need to do both. And then I want to do... I have one of those jacuzzi tubs. It is full of stuff, y'all. It is a, that bad. That bathroom is like a storage closet. So I want to get the tub cleaned out, and I want to clean the closet. So there's no detailed cleaning like edges, curtains, uh, cobwebs. This is some heavy duty cleaning we need to do. And I'm going to stop right there. I'm not going to do these other two lines because if I get that much done, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> I'm just going to say it's going to be amazing. Um, the habit is still make the bed. She does, Fly Lady does the same habit all month long. And my, I'm going to still try to work on my planner check-in since I didn't get it done last week. And I also didn't track good on Weight Watchers last week, hence the 1.3 pound weight gain. So I'm going to put it back on here to remind myself. So tracking Weight Watchers points. When weigh in daily. I could have maybe put those over there. And I might change them after you see this. Okay, I guess that's going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to get this video edited and uploaded. Now, be sure I'm going to, on the side, I'm going to list uh, my, oh, and one more thing. That's another thing. In the playlist, I have been putting, I've got a playlist, Health and More in 2024. You can find everyone's videos there. As they put them up, I put them in that playlist. So, you can go find everyone that's doing this, the creators, and what they've done. I think it's in order. Uh, I think it should be in order. I don't know. I'm not, I've not checked that great, but it should be in the order that they've been done. And in the description, you can find the OGs, the group one, and you're going to find group two. So make sure you check that out as, as well as my Facebook page that you can join for Health and More. Now, I will say I haven't got to do a lot on the Facebook page yet, but it's coming. This week I have used to get things set up, getting the campground going back full force, stock in the grub shack, um, all those things. So I don't have much of that to do this week. I do have to, however, get ready for Thursday. We're leaving Thursday morning. And we will be back Sunday, so I will have my video up Sunday. Wish me luck on this three or four day weekend and my weight loss. <laughs> Wish me luck, okay? Uh, I know it's not luck, it's habits and doing what you need to do, but you know how it goes when you travel. Um, and I tend to retain fluids when I travel. That's what I've told you before. Uh, so look for everything in the description. I'm gonna get this uploaded and I hope you are sticking with your programs. If you need support, remember to reach out to me, direct message me one of those places, either Etsy or Instagram. If you don't have an Etsy account or an Instagram account, go make one. If you can't reach out to me, reach out to one of the other creators. They will tell me, hey, get in touch with this lady or gent, whatever, okay? All right, you guys, as always, enjoy the journey. Bye.